Good morning, my friends, and welcome to Midweek Encourager. I hope you're having a great week. It's a tremendous week here in Memphis and, and uh, a nice, cool morning, getting ready for a hot day, but that's okay. Hey, listen, if you've got your Bibles, I hope you'll open to 1 Corinthians chapter 1. 1 Corinthians chapter 1. I want to share with you just for a couple of minutes this morning uh, uh, a devotional that uh, Greg Laurie, pastor in California, uh, put on one of his one of his websites uh, a few months back. And But it, it spoke to my heart, and I hope it will speak to yours as well. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 21. Let's read this together. For since God in his wisdom saw to it that the world would never know him through human wisdom, he's used our foolish preaching to save those who believe. Well, you know, the I like this verse. I like this verse because Paul starts off, says, since God in his wisdom. It's hard to beat that, uh, that, that way of thinking, is it? Uh, it says, God in his wisdom saw to it that the world would never understand him through human wisdom. He's used our foolish preaching to save people who believe in Jesus. And, you know, we tend to think of preaching as uh, in a negative way, in a negative way, as, as, as something that's bad. For example, if, if someone if someone starts talking to us about something that we don't like, they say something to us that we don't care to hear, we might say, hey, don't preach at me, right? But actually, the Bible says that preaching is a good thing. But we don't necessarily have to do it loudly, right? The word preach doesn't mean we have to project. We can preach it quietly. We can whisper the gospel. We can share it conversationally, or we could even text it or tweet it. There are so many ways to share our faith. The point is simply to communicate our faith, whatever it takes, however way fits you, whatever way cranks your tractor as the old as the old saying goes Romans 10 chapter 14 uh, verse 14 says how shall they call on him on Jesus how shall they call on Jesus to save them unless they believe in him how can they believe in him if they've never heard about him and how can they hear about him unless someone tells them the primary way that people come to Jesus is through hearing the gospel. The Bible tells us, again, our, our, our key verse for the day, for, for since in the wisdom of God, the world through wisdom did not know God, it pleased God through the foolishness of the message preached to save those who believe in him. You remember when God called Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh? <laughs> Jonah did not want to go. God wanted him to take the gospel to Nineveh, which was full of God's enemies, and Jonah didn't want any part of it. But when he did go, when he did share the gospel of God, there was a huge spiritual awakening that broke out. President Abraham Lincoln said, the best way to destroy an enemy is to make him a friend. So share the gospel with your enemies, share the gospel with your frenemies, okay? As well as your neighbors, your friends, and your family. Go to everyone you can and share the gospel. Another term that I like to use for evangelism is one that I've used in several churches where we've served, and it's called frangelism. Now, you may have heard of that, you may not, that's okay. I didn't make up the word. Frangelism, though. 
friend, F is for friends, R is for relatives, A is for associates, N is for neighbors, frangelism. Scripture simply tells us, go into all of your world and share the gospel. May I pray for you? Oh, dear God, thank you for your word. Thank you for the, the, the simplicity of your word. Lord, there are a lot of things that we don't understand about your, your Bible, about our Bible. But God, those are not the things we're going to have to answer for. The things we're going to have to answer for are the things that we do understand. Like, go tell your neighbor about Jesus. God, would you give me, would you give my brothers and sisters today the courage to, to just simply share the gospel, simply, quietly, not grabbing anybody by the, by the shirt, not threatening anybody, but simply sharing with them the good news of what God has done for me personally and what do we want to do for them personally. God, give us your courage, give us your boldness, and we'll leave all the results to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hey, listen, thanks for joining today. May God bless you. May God use you to share Jesus with somebody today. Hope to see you Sunday in church, live and in person. I love you.